Okay, so after it feels like the last, I don't know how many videos of me talking about, hey, something bad is happening with the anime industry. Hey, we're in big trouble here. Hey, big problems there. I got some pretty freaking good news uh, for the My Hero Academia franchise in particular regarding the Heroes Rising movie, the second film of the franchise that was just recently released in North American theaters. In case you ain't uh, know, yeah, it, it, it dropped, baby. I have a full review. You can check it out on the channel. Really, really crazy film, I ain't gonna lie, but we got great news on that, and I'm excited to talk about it. Let's do it. So yes, My Hero Academia Heroes Rising has brought forth some pretty freaking awesome news. I love when I get to report that something that I really enjoyed or I thought was very well done uh, was actually successful. And My Hero Academia's film, we got the box office uh, sales for, I want to say it's the first five or so days or the, the first week. We'll read the whole article in a second. And My Hero Academia's film, according to this article, I want to say is the second highest grossing uh, Funimation film thus far. Again, we will get into all the details in a second, but it did wonderful. It did great, which is awesome. I think it's only second behind the Broly film, which come on, the, <laughs> that that that's fighting a, a Goliath of a freaking monster. The you know Dragon Ball Super, the Dragon Ball franchise in general is riding off a multi generational fandom like you got the people that probably knew about it from like uh the 90s when they got the japanese stuff and then you got like the early 2000s tsunami babies and then you got uh the new fans that are just hearing about it from like their fathers or their aunts and uncles and all that shit so you got like three generations of dragon ball fans that are supporting it of course dragon ball is going to outdo my hero academia which is just now e exploding with popularity which it is very successful i'm not even gonna lie my hero academia is so damn successful i cannot wear any type of merch from my hero like i got this really awesome hoodie that i got for christmas and every time i wear it somebody says hey man love the sweater plus ultra dude which it's cool and all but like yeah my hero's really freaking popular especially with the new gen of anime fans but let's read the article see exactly what heroes rising has done at the box office and we'll talk some more okay so my hero academia heroes rising anime film goes plus ultra in north american box office in one weekend the film overtook the entire box office takings of two heroes which was i want to say the previous film the first film which that's insane i i ain't gonna lie i still to this day haven't seen the first film i don't know what the hell's wrong with me i heard it was a pretty awesome movie i definitely got to check it out but to hear that this outdid that film in its entirety in just like its first few days out that is insane. I mean, I'm sure it's out in more theaters, but it just shows how much more popular My Hero has gotten in the last few years. It is freaking explosive uh, among fandom. There's no stopping the might of My Hero Academia in North America. February 26th saw the limited release of the newest, which is crazy, it's called Limited, but this shit was in a lot of theaters near me, My Hero Academia anime film Heroes Rising in cinemas in North America. And not only did it go beyond the predictions, but it also overtook the full earnings of the previous film in the franchise My Hero Academia 2 Heroes before the first weekend of release. My Hero Academia Heroes Rising opened on a Wednesday in North America to a sizable $2.6 million in 1,275 theaters, making 2.7 times the amount that Two Heroes did on its first day on September 25th, 2018, which did less than a mil, 947,000. After five days in the region, Heroes Rising has blown past all expectations and brought in a total of 9,100,000 170,063 overtaking both Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F's complete box office takings and weathering with you to become the 10th highest grossing anime film in North America. That is freaking crazy. So, uh, yeah, it just it broke records in, in a, a short amount of time already. Like, the 10th highest grossing film, that is freaking crazy. And again, this is why I can't wear my damn My Hero Academia hoodie. Like, I, I, I can't do it anymore. But then again, I also walk around with this My Hero Academia wallet. So, yeah, that, that doesn't do me any favors. The, the fandom always spots it, alright? They always spot it. Heroes Rising only needs to make another half a million to become ninth on the list and over take 2000's Digimon the movie. For Funimation, Box Office Pro noted that My Hero Academia Heroes Rising has become the second highest grossing anime film for the company, only behind 2019's Dragon Ball Super Broly. And in Japan, it made 15 mil, so um, the US right now, th that's freaking crazy if you think about it. It made almost 10 mil. Uh, in, in Japanese theaters, it, it made 15 mil. Like, we could actually outdo potentially Japan with this shit. That is nuts. And yeah, 
yeah, that just shows the level of explosive popularity My Hero Academia has, which more than likely means that the series is going to go on for a long time. Like, uh, I, I know that Shonen Jump has been dying to get a series, like, really hot in North America and the West. Obviously, so many series have come to an end throughout these last few years. I've seen a whole generation, a whole freaking era of uh, shonen manga and anime come to a close and my hero academia is slowly um reaching new heights it's honestly if you wanted to say like uh, a, a good run for like hey the next naruto my hero academia really is is running in there i still won't say that it completely like uh i, I got ahead of myself a few years ago when like the all for one versus all might fight happened like i was like yeah it officially did it but no it's it's really starting to show like yo this is making major leaps into becoming that it is definitely a, a huge force in the west and of course as well in japan and i mean for it to only be behind dragon ball super broly for funimation that is a big deal to outdo resurrection f which was a huge success at the time very very big deal i mean that's outdoing a dragon ball movie in general big freaking deal and we're right now currently in the fourth season of the anime i, I don't see my hero i honestly i i will be very very shocked if my hero academia doesn't get some type of z or shippuden era just because like if it is climbing that level of success imagine what that type of bump could do because we know very very well historically we've seen whenever they do a major time skip and a rebranding in a sense it only adds to the popularity like look what sheepwooden did for the naruto franchise naruto was already popular you added in this time skip and sheepwooden and all that shit it exploded even further likewise with dragon ball dragon ball z but that was a whole other monster like dragon ball was kind of popular you know it was pretty successful or whatever dragon ball z boof hugest thing in the freaking world so if my hero academia gets like my hero society spinoff of some shit uh, not spinoff sequel um it, it'll be even bigger and who knows maybe it could rival at some given point dragon ball z uh, as time goes on we just gotta wait and see and if i can't wear my deku hoodie now uh, i i can only imagine how bad it's going to be once we get that time skip damn it but i'm curious what you guys think about this how do you feel about my hero academia's success i mean we we have seen and this is something to note we have seen that there has been a very toxic side effect of my hero's success the more popular it gets i've noticed the more controversy goes down the more we hear these stories of like uh you know the fans that are attacking the author and threatening the author and uh you know shit that happened in china and shit like that so there is a negative side effect to the the more popularity my hero academia gains the more messed up shit that is trailing behind it let's just hope that a lot of that shit calms down and people just accept like yo it's a dope story there's not i haven't seen anything where i feel like yo that is 100 percent intentionally trying to do some fucked up shit i will be the first to call it out if i see something like that i haven't seen anything in particular that is like whoa like you could argue the whole doctor china you know ban and all that shit like maybe there's something there more than likely it's not but like yeah my hero academia um do you think that right now the way that it's looking especially considering the possibility of it getting a sequel and a spin-off and all of that jazz that it could eventually truly uh compete with dragon ball in terms of the box office and shit like that like who the hell knows that the further it goes the more generations of fans we get with it i could see it going the distance i i am curious one thing though i do got to say one thing because my hero is very very popular but we did recently have a series blow up demon slayer i'm really 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 interested to see what that film does at the box office on its release like will it overtake because like the thing with the demon slayer film is that it is a 100 percent canon continuity continuation of the anime which is going to make a lot of people go to the theaters to see that movie uh, do you guys think that there's a possibility that demon slayer's film can outdo my hero academia or is it too soon or is demon slayer's popularity primarily really in japan and it's not going to translate that hugely over here just yet like i'm interested to see what demon slayer could do if demon slayer outdoes my hero academia Woo! That, that's gonna be insane. But that's all I have for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications of my videos. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links, of course, in the description below. I'm from the world, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga. For life, boy! Have an awesome day. Peace in and major, major congrats 
to My Hero Academia, Heroes Rising film, and all of his success and accolades. Let's keep it going, baby. Everything good always comes to an end. If you stab me in my back, we can never make amends. Trying to move to acceptance, hard to accept it. Mistakes like mirrors, gotta reflect it. I don't wanna fucking leave, but I gotta leave. Leave the maybes to the crazies. Maybe one day we, there I go and man, something in a subtle way. No more copies, leave without a trace. Last time, I'ma say last time. Moving on to the future, leave the memories as a pastime. Memories always feel like the worst. Deading all the past, leave it in a hearse. Sometimes I wanna lie, but I don't. Why lie? When truthfully you get caught in it Then usually it's all off and shit Uncalled for shit, now I'm off the shit Maybe lately what I've been facing Got me crazy, no I can't take it yeah. Maybe 